Welcome back to Copper Break State Park. If you've been here before, if you haven't been here, then welcome to Copper Break State Park. If y'all want to see what's inside the park, stick around. Say, come on. Say, come on. Say, come on. camping area very shaded but it is closed at this time it's water only area but uh, if you don't need electricity or you have a power source this is a nice little area I wonder how close we can get before he notices us Big old fat thing. Didn't get very close. But as you can see, slightly crowded. But look at all the trees. That's not too commonplace for this part of Texas. Not trees this size. Tons and tons of mesquites. But not these well there's a site over here it looks like hey there's a little site right there there's this well there's sites back here i didn't ever know they was back here You have a tent this would be kind of nice the drawback to shrubs trees whatever you want to call them like this is in the summertime they block the wind so you don't get much of a breeze up in here plenty of shade though anyway let's carry on i won't bore y'all with the walk back to the truck oh 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 don't know if you noticed a while ago but i put my hand showing you no no on the little lock box on that gate because the gate closes at 4 30 i believe 4 30 or 5 and uh which we got here a little bit before five so it must be 4 30. Anyhow, 
the lock box there's not a key in that pull the actual lock up and look on the bottom of it and there's a combination there i'm not going to admit how long I, it took me to figure that one out but i did figure it out and by the way these bathrooms have showers and everything in them clean <laughs> at some point but uh, not at this point so there's a little taste of it right there I won't give away anymore just walk down to the fish up here I am sadly disappointed in just a moment you'll see why sounds good huh but lucky that's not good. Nice little fishing pier, but obviously they don't want people on it. I guess it would be a little hard to social distance on it. Maybe that's their reasoning. I don't know. Not a whole lot of a lake here. But it's not bad. And you know what? I guess you could walk down here. You don't necessarily have to fish on the pier. Well, yeah. You get down in that and you're just going to start getting into those biting flies. Not to mention that's really, really shallow if you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's real shallow. Nice big old paw prints. Yeah, right. let's continue on this little exploration. Saw another little place where I could fish. Had a chain across here though, so you're not gonna drive down here. Right. Let's walk down here and take a gander. Well, I don't know if you can hear me or not, the wind's horrible. I need a GoPro mic. Ideal fishing spot looking area. Not for me, anyhow. Maybe catfishing. That might be alright. Yeah, let's move on.
Well, we're going to hike down to what they call, what's it called Big Pond? I think so. You think so? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Everything's big, huh? Yeah. Well, let's go check it out. It is hot, but it is pretty. Wait a minute. Yeah, you better get her. It was down there where he was parked. They keep falling off. They say there's fish in there, but you have to kind of sneak up on them because the water is so clear. They get scared and take off as soon as you get sort of close. That's what they say anyway. Well, there's some ripples down there. So there is something in there. Oh, it's a little... It's shad or perch. That's, I believe it's shad, though. I don't know. Yeah, this is supposed to be the scenic overlook part. We going? Say hi. Hi. Wait. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Well, let's just walk right down here and see what there is to see. I see some buzzards waiting on us. Boys are dry. You can't just go chase the birds. Come on, let's walk over here. All right, you ready to head back? Papa. Too many little drop-offs over here. <gasps> Look at that! Yeah. 
No. Can look, look at my... Water. There's a tent down there. Girl, where are you going? We're not going down. So we gotta probably best just turn around. Yeah. Let's turn around. Go back to where you came from. Yeah, it's starting to get a little dark out here. We're going to get a time lapse and eat some dinner and hit the trails in the morning. So stick around.
grasshoppers everywhere and butterflies. Mainly grasshoppers though. And if you come, you have to wear a mask if you go inside. There you go. Do not enter this facility if you are feeling sick or have been con in contact with anyone who has been exposed to COVID-19. Use of face coverings is mandatory. Eight to five. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, well, it looks like everything is closed off for right now. So. How long is this going to be closed off? I'm uh, not completely sure. We've got to get enough uh, material to rope off all the stuff that people can touch with the plexiglass. So this is just a temporary, uh, temporary yeah. solution to a problem that's going to get <laughs> a little farther. I can turn the lights on if you'd like to get a little bit better. Uh, uh, it may have picked it up. That's all right. It, it'll get it. Thank you. All right. Well, not much to see there. Let's hit the road. Get cooled off. And you know, I was, we was going to do some hiking, but it's like 101 degrees already. And it is just now about noon. Yeah, yeah. We should have got up about 7 o'clock in the morning, but... It felt mighty good in there with the fan going. Alright, let's carry on. Alright, it is time to say goodbye to Copper Breaks and head to Quana to head back home. So, y'all keep on keeping on and we will see y'all down the road. Say bye. bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Ha, 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 ha.